Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Uh, dear brother, dear Hussain, and brothers and sisters at the University College of London, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah khairan gave me this uh, opportunity for introducing Muslim situation in Uzbekistan. My name is Abdul Ghani Sabit, I am from Netherlands, uh, but I was born in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan is a Muslim land uh, which has been occupied by Communist China in 1949. After occupation of East Pakistan, the Chinese government changed its name to Xinjiang, which means new land or new frontier. Before occupation of East Pakistan, we had only 4% Chinese who lived in our homeland. Uh, after occupation, the Chinese Communist government intentionally brought millions of Han Chinese into East Pakistan. Now they are have become majority in our homeland. China has uh, systematically committed genocide against uh, the Muslims in East Pakistan uh, from 1949 until now, as like uh, test a uh, nuclear bomb and uh, birth control policy, and also attacking Islamic, uh, Islamic and Muslim identity and Uyghur identity in East Pakistan. Uh, especially uh, so-called war and terror, I mean 11 September, uh, China's got a golden opportunity to oppress uh, repress the Uyghur Muslims in East Pakistan. Uh, for example, a Muslim woman not allowed to uh, wear hijab at public places like in hospitals, uh, schools, and Muslim men not allowed to grow a beard, and Muslim men and women and, and children not allowed to study Islamic books. Uh, after, I mean, uh, recent years, uh, Syrian revolution, the Chinese, uh, the government also uh, Double uh, its uh, repressive policy, the Muslims in Uzbekistan, and uh, for example, forced uh, Muslim imams to dance, and also the Muslim imams to sing a uh, Chinese national anthem, and also the called Uyghur students who studied at abroad back to Uzbekistan, who uh, didn't back to Uzbekistan, the Chinese gathered uh, their uh, families at re-education camp, who returned to Uzbekistan also uh, gathered them a re-education camp. And also the Chinese government uh, forced uh, install a uh, spyware system on their smartphone. Uh, actually, I would like to say more about the Chinese repressive policy in Uzbekistan uh, for the time. Uh, actually, I would like to share uh, with uh, you, but uh, inshallah next time. Uh, again, I would like to thank you, our brothers, uh, Dele Yusain, uh, for giving me and giving you this opportunity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.